everyone and welcome to Avid Engage. We are here today at the beautiful Laura Sheridan from the Sunshine Coast Lightning team at her beautiful home in our development and we're going to be doing some cooking for you today. Um, so Laura is not only a very talented netball player <laughs> but she's also a great cook and a nutritionist. So. Um, tell me, how did you get into food as opposed to sports? Yeah, I, um, I've always loved cooking and I think it was mainly with my family when I was younger. So especially my nana at home, we'd cook a lot together and I think it just followed on from there. And then I studied naturopathy yep. um, when I got a bit older. So the nutrition side of food came into it and I just kind of joined it together and it became my passion. Fantastic. So, and um, netball was also part of that development as well. How did you get into netball? Netball, well, that was also family. So my <laughs> mum um, coached my sister's team when yep. I was little and I was four years old and they were short one player. And so I jumped in and played and just kept playing ever since. And you're getting better and better every year. Hopefully, you? <laughs> hopefully getting better with age. Yeah, yeah. So Avid uh, Property Group sponsors the Sunshine Coast Lightning team and we've done from the beginning. Yeah, wasn't it? Was it like five, four, years. five years. Five years now. Five years, we're yeah, coming into yeah. our sixth year in 2022. Yeah. So It was the first sponsorship that we did when I started working for Avid and, mm. uh, and we're very glad. I think the girls have, you know, keep uh, getting better and yeah. um, growing. So what are we going to be cooking today, Laura? So we're going to cook some school lunchbox treats or right, food right. for kids. Um, so we're starting with my favorite muffin recipe, mm -hmm. which is um, a banana and strawberry mm. muffin. Um, you can eat them for breakfast even. They're very healthy. Great. You can substitute a lot of the ingredients for whatever the kids like or don't like. Um, yeah, so super simple. Um, would you like to get started? Absolutely. Let's go. Let's Alrighty. go. Alrighty. So, so we, have have we got a dry bowl here. Yep. Um, with one and a half cups of wholemeal flour. Obviously, yep. if you need gluten-free, go for it. If you just have plain around at home, that's fine. Sure. And also half a cup of whole oats. Mm -hmm. um, so that's there good. and there. Um, the other ingredients we've got today is half a cup of maple syrup mm -hmm. um, and a little bit of vanilla essence in there. That's half a cup of coconut oil, yes. um, a whole punnet of strawberries, keep two whole to cut up and put on the top. Lovely. Um, and then two eggs yes. and two mashed bananas. And that's Wonderful. literally all you need. Easy. Mm. And Easy. so I just use whatever's in season. So strawberries at the moment are in abundance. Mm -hmm. um, they're local, use heaps of those at the moment, but I'll probably move on to mango soon. Yes. Um, or you can leave them, like put them with some chocolate anything you want so yes fantastic yeah. and I think you know muffins are such a great thing for kids yeah in school you know my kids were one of those kids that had the purple carrots and the green wraps <laughs> you know and I think yeah. they get picked on so if we yeah. can make healthy food look interesting and normal for some yes. of the kids they're more likely to mm. eat it my yeah. mum used yeah. to make her own roll-ups and I remember thinking all I want is a normal the roll most. up mum <laughs> and as I got older I really appreciated the effort she went into my that's lunch right, box. That's so, right. Yeah. Well it's important to give our kids good nutritious food that's when they right. go to school. They normally when they're little they don't want to spend too much time eating so yep. things that they can grab and just munch on and then go and play. Exactly. That's the best thing and to do. And these freeze really well so Great, so you can make them, them and daily. just, that's yep. what we want. For Excellent. Busy parents, busy parents. I had my nephews make these with me the other day and they're five and three and there was a mess everywhere. But it still tasted <laughs> fun, so right. somehow well, it worked out. If I can make them, anybody can make them. So let's All have right, a go let's at do it. this. Yeah. So to the dry flour ingredients. and oats, yep, dry ingredients. We're going to add one teaspoon of bicarb and a little pinch of mm -hmm. salt. So just pop that in there. You can whisk that that's together that. for yep. me. Um, and then in the wet bowl, we mm -hmm. are going to add the coconut oil. So this has to be melted, um, otherwise it won't yep. whisk through. So you might have to just warm that in the microwave or on the stove. So add that one in as well as the maple syrup and vanilla essence. Lovely. Just in there like that. Um, so it'll separate at the start. So mm -hmm. we just need to whisk that together as well. So, so we can whisk together. Yep. <laughs> We should have switched sides. So, I'm left-handed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, yeah. look at me. <laughs> Got a little bit <laughs> excited with the mixing there. There we go. We'll get that Beautiful. through. And to that, we'll just add in the eggs. So it'll thicken up and yeah. all mix together quite easily. Add the eggs in there. 
Um, make sure that the eggs, eggs in there. Yeah, two, no, eggs, two eggs, sorry. Yeah. Make yeah. sure the eggs are at room temperature, otherwise the coconut oil will go solid again. Lovely, yeah. lovely. And this pile here is for the kids to wash up yeah. at the end, so <laughs> we'll just keep piling it up there for the children after. <laughs> All right. And we'll also just add in the banana here. So there's two mashed bananas. Yep. It doesn't really matter if they're big or small, just yep. a bit medium-sized bananas. It's better to be ripe or not so ripe. Better to be ripe, ripe as ripe yeah. as you can get them. It's, it's probably yeah. it's sweeter when they're a bit um, ripe, aren't they? Definitely. Yeah. You really can't go wrong with this recipe. Like if it is a bit thick, you just add a little bit of milk of your choice. Mm -hmm. um, but usually it works out pretty well. So that's all mixed together. Lovely. I'm going to pull that into the, um, into the dry. dry bowl. Yep. Oh, it smells good. Yeah, it does smell good. I'm hey. sorry, but you can't smell it, but it smells <laughs> very good already. <laughs> and yeah, you can use that one if you like. I know. Keep putting together. flour everywhere. I will clean your kitchen at the end. You're fine. That's <laughs> <laughs> what kitchens are for. That, that's yep. right. That's it. Listen, at the heart of the home. Yep. Exactly. The younger we can start our children cooking, the better. Yep. Um, you know, teaching them about nutrition and exercise, that's the best way. I'm just going to pop these strawberries in there as well. So you just need to, um, do you want to get those yep. up for me, Ty? Just until it's just combined. Yeah. So now we're ready to go. Ready pop them to go. in the pop tray. In. So I'll Let's grab see. some um, little baking cups for you. There's a spoon. Very good. I'll line and you can pop them in. You can make mini ones as well. Yep. It's really good. I suppose, you know, muffins are such a great thing because we can have savoury or we can have sweet. Exactly. And, um, so I usually get about nine to 12 out of this mixture. Okay. Um, if I don't eat too much <laughs> as I'm going, <laughs> That's, I'm going to just cut the mixture. <laughs> so we'll just top them with a bit of strawberry as well. You can put some extra oats on there if you like. Yep. Um, but as I said, you can really use whatever you want. A couple of choc chips for those fussy eaters. That yeah, want exactly. Just to entice them to. <laughs> My nephew just decided, um, Matty, he doesn't like banana at the moment. Oh, so we yes. used um, pureed apple. Yep. Um, that worked as well. Yeah, yes. That's the thing. My daughter doesn't like bananas either. So, yeah. you know, just finding what they will eat, isn't it? Mm. Oh, before we started, we preheated yeah. the oven to 180 as well. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so they're super easy to make. Yeah. Um, at least you know the ingredients. Some of the store-bought ones have so many additives in there. Yeah. Um, numbers, colours, flavourings, you just don't know what you're so getting. If, so um, if you were to do it gluten-free, yep. um, so of course the oats are not gluten-free, are no. they? No. So, um, you could just um, emit them the, out yeah. and just replace with it gluten -free with flour. So flour. you just use two cups of flour. Okay. Um, that yeah. would probably be the best way to go. And we'll probably put that in the oven, in the oven. for about 20 minutes, give or take a couple of minutes. Lovely. So, yeah, Excellent. they're good to go. All right. Should there we, we pop go. pop them in? Let's pop them in. Wonderful. Okay, so whilst we wait for those to cook, I actually prepared some earlier today. Should we so, give them a try? Absolutely. Right. Let's have a look. All right. Here's some I prepared oh, earlier. Oh, wow. Look how wonderful they look. <gasps> Do you want to give them a go? Absolutely. Go Let's try it. Oh, wow. See. Mmm. Mm. Oh wow. That's very good. Excellent. Not bad. Mm. They're a bit moreish. Healthy and delicious. That's what we want. Mm. Mm. Hopefully the kids will love them. Lovely. Well, there you have it. These are chef's beautiful strawberry muffins. Let's give it a go at home. <laughs>